Local health care workers are exhausted after months of fighting coronavirus. Many of those workers are really struggling. ABC Big Two's Felicia Romero joins us now live. Felice, the pandemic really taking an emotional toll on them. We've all heard of the term COVID-19 fatigue. People are getting tired about hearing about this pandemic and rules to keep others safe. But tonight, I bring you the other side of the story. A healthcare worker who, just like me and you, is tired, but they don't have the option to just stop listening. The holiday season is a time to give thanks, spread joy, and spend time with loved ones. But for many healthcare workers, they will spend this time in isolation as they continue their battle on the front line. Generally speaking, we want to get together with family members. We want to be around each other and, you know, hug each other, love each other. This time of year makes it very difficult to try to, you know, have to keep that distance. Not only does this affect the holiday season, it creates challenges for families, especially those going through major life events. For me, throughout this entire time, of our pregnancy, you know, it's been especially challenging um, to to be there and be a part of it and support her, but also be safe. Native Odessan Dr. James Paul Moody and his wife are expecting. Thankfully, he's able to isolate in the guest room of their home, but for many of his colleagues, that's not the case. Nursing staff and other physicians staying in hotel rooms, you know, really and truly trying to stay away because they're not they're not fortunate enough to have that same type of setup. His wish this season is for the community to show a little bit of grace when it comes to supporting frontline workers. He says, just like you and me, they're people too, and their struggle is not contained inside the walls of a hospital. We understand um, probably a lot more than people in the community at large think that we do, just how much it means to have lost a loved one during this time. Is there something I could have done more? Is there, you know, something that I missed? Is there anything I could have done? And, you know, and you have to battle with that internally. He says his heart goes out to everyone who has lost a loved one to COVID-19, and he hopes that everyone can come together and, rake the, and make the right decisions to keep everyone safe. Reporting live in Odessa, Feliz Romero, ABC Big Two.